Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. This will be the final 10 chapters of Isaiah 56 to 66. And I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to do it all in one video. Okay. 56 has 12 verses, 57, 21, 58, 14, 59, 21. Okay. I, I, I'm not trying to do this all in one video. It's going to be probably fairly long. Okay. So I'm, not sure that I'm going to try to do this in one video. Okay. So here's 56 verse 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice for my salvation is near or nigh to come. For my and, my and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man who doeth this, and the son of man, son of a man, not son of man like Jesus, but son of a man who layeth hold on it, who keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger who hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs, who keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that which please me, and take, taketh hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than, better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger who join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants, everyone who keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain, that Zion, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Well, Jesus quoted that. The Lord God who gathereth the outcasts of Israel saith, Yet will I gather others to him beside those who are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour. Yea, all ye beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds who cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one of his gain from his quarter or his corner or his house. Verse 11, corner, verse 11, 56, 11, let's see, corner, or from his end, yeah. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow be as, as this day, and much more abundant. Chapter 57. The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart. The merciful men are taken away, none consider, considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near nigh art hither, <clears throat> ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the waters. Among the smooth stones of the stream is thy portion. They, they are thy lot. Even to them hath, hast thou poured a drink offering. Thou hast offered a meat offering, should I receive comfort. Upon a lofty and high mountain, Lofty and high mountain hast thou set 
thy bed, even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also and the posts hast thou set up thy remembrance, for thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed where thou sawest. Thou wentest to the king with ointment, and didst increase thy perfumes, and didst send the, thy messengers afar off. And didst debase thyself even in, un, unto hell or Sheol. Thou art were wearied in the greatness of thy way. Yet saidest thou not, there is no hope. Thou hast, thou hast found the life of thine hand. Therefore thou wast not grieved. Of whom hast thou been afraid or feared? That thou hast lied and hast not remembered. Remember, remember me. Nor laid it into thy heart. Have not I held, held my peace, even of old, and thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, lest thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them away, them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he who putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain, as Zion saying, saying, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus saith the high and lofty one who inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also who is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, Neither will I be always wroth, for the spirit shall fail, shall fail, should fail before me, and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth, and smote him. I hid, I hid me, and was wroth. I hid me, as it should. I hid me, and was wroth. And he went on frowardly, frowardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and will he heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him who is afar off and to him who, who is nigh or near, say the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when I cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, say thy God. Chapter 58. Cry, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of, that, of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in, in approaching to God. Wherefore have we have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye, ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Is it such a fast as I have chosen? a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast and, and an acceptable day of the Lord? <clears throat> Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loosen the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and, and that ye break every yoke? Is, not, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor who are cast out to thy house. When thou seest the naked, that thou covereth him, and, thou, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. 
the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou takest away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaketh vanity, if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as a noonday. The Lord shall guide, the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfieth thy soul in drought, and make fat but thy bones, and thou shalt make thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. They they who shall be of the, they who shall be of thee shall build the old waste waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath from doing thy pleasure in my holy on my holy day, and call it the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, when the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Chapter fifty nine. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, from, from thou or thee, that he will not hear. For your hands have defiled with blood, are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverse, perverseness. Perverseness, none calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. Truth, they, tr they trust in vanity, and speaketh lies. They conceive mischief, they conceiveth mischief, and bringeth forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice's eggs, and weave the spider's web. He who eateth of their eggs dieth, and, and that which is crushed breaketh into a vipe, breaketh out into a vipe. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destructing. De wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not knoweth peace. There, therefore is judgment far from us. Neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light. But behold, obscurity for brightness. But we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind. And we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We, we roar like all like bears, bears, and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none, for salvation, but it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against thee. For our transgressions are with us, and as, our, as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgression and lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaketh oppression, speaketh oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is fallen in, in the street, and, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, truth faileth. And he who departeth from evil maketh himself a prey, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. He saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness has sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad, clad, with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries. Recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will re repay re recompense. 
so shall they fear the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Uh, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them who turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon me and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, seeds, seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. Chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise from upon them, upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. The Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about the sea. All the all they that all they gather all they who gather themselves together they come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow it together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, and forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee in the dro dromedaries of Midian and Ephla. All they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glory, glorify the house of my glory. Who are these who, who fly as a cloud and as a dove to their win windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me in the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from, from afar. Their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. The sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and the kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I, rem I smote thee but in my favor have I had mercy. Therefore thy gate shall be, gate shall be open, open continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring into the, into, in, unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together and the box I guess that's a box tree together verse 13 mm. yeah box tree uh, together to beautify the place of my sanctuary and I will make the place of my feet glorious the sons also of them who afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all that all they who despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and, and hated, so that no man went from from went through thee, I will make thee an, an eternal excellence, a joy of many nations. Thou shalt not sh suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall and shall suck the breast of kings. Excuse me, thou shalt also suck the mouth of Gentiles and shalt suck the breast of kings. And they shall know that I, the Lord, am the Savior and thy Redeemer, Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass will I bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver. For wood, brass, for stones, iron. I, also, I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be before be heard. So violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting, wasting, nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall be shall be no more thy thy day or by night. Excuse me. The sun shall no more be thy light by day. 
neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. Uh, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God, thy God, thy glory. The sun shall, shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Speaking of the new heavens and new earth. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to blind, bind up, excuse me, bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and, and the opening of the prison to them who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. That was quoted in, I think, Matthew 5. No, Matthew 3. Let's see. Luke 4. Let's see. Uh, Luke 4 18 and 19. Luke. 722. Uh, parts of Psalm 147.3, Isaiah 40, uh, verse 2. Oh, Matthew 5, 4. Yeah, Matthew 5, 4, verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable, acceptable, acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to come for all who mourn. To appoint unto them who, who mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joyful mourning, mourning, sorrow, uh, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Excuse me, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he, he might be glorified. They shall build the old wastes. He, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the wasted cities, the desolations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed their, your flocks, and the sons of the alien, the foreigner, shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame shall, for your shame, shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall, they shall possess the double, the double portion, everlasting joy be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offerings, and I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All, all who see them shall acknowledge Acknowledge them that they are the seed of which they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringing forth her bud, and as a garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. Chapter 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold thy peace or my peace. For, and for Jerus Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. Until the righteousness thereof will go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory, and, and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown uh, of glory in, in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt, be, thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hephzibah, Hephzibah, 
and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as a bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Yea, who make the mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Giving him rest, giving him no more no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will be I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons of thy stranger shall not drink thy wine. For the which <laughs> for which thou hast lived. But they who have gathered it shall eat it and praise and praise it the Lord. And they who have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones. Lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his, his reward is with him. And his work before him. They shall call call them the holy people, the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Sixty three, chapter sixty three. Who is this who cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This this that is this, this that is glorious this who he should be he who is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of strength, I who speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like them who tread, treadeth in the wine vat? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. I will tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord, and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed. Honors and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on him, according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. Loving kindness. For he saith, Surely they are they are my people, children who shall not lie. So he is their savior. He was, so he was their savior. In all their affliction he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them up, or bore them, and he bare them, and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled, and vexed, and, and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he, he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old, Moses and his people, saying, Where is he who brought them out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock? Where is he who put his Holy Spirit with within him, who led them by the right hand of Moses with his, with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name, who leaded them, who who leaded them through the deep, as a horse in the wilderness that they should not stumble, as a beast goeth goeth down into the valley, the spirit of the Lord caused them to rest. So didst thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven, and behold, from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory, where is, where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels, and of thy mercy toward me, are they restrained? Doubtless thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledges us not. Thou, O Lord, art our, art our father, our redeemer, thy name is from everlasting. 
O Lord, why hast thou made us err from thy, thy, from thy ways, and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for, your, for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it, but a little while our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Chapter 64. O oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to, to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things, which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither have, they, have the eyes seen. O God, beside thee, what, what he hath prepared for him, who waiteth for him. Thou meetest him who rejoiceth, and worketh righteousness those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned. In those, in, in those is continuance, and we shall be saved. But we are, we are, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all, we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us, hath taken us away. There is none who calleth upon thy name, who steereth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, hath consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, thou art the potter. Thou art our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. Be not wroth very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. Thy holy cities are a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. <clears throat> our holy and our beautiful house, where our fathers praised thee, is burned up with fire, and all of our pleasant things are laid waste. Wilt thou refrain thyself for this saint, O Lord? Wilt thou hold thy peace and afflict us very sore? Hmm. Chapter 65. I am sought of them who, who ask not for me. I am found of them who sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation which was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto the unto a rebellious people who walketh in a way that was not good, hath their own thoughts. A people who who provoketh me to anger continually to my face, who sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick which remain among the graves and lodge in the mount, mount monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable, abominable things in their vessels, which say, stand by thyself, come not near for me, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are the smoke from my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense on, into their bosom. Your iniquities in, in the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and in, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there. Sharon shall be a, a fold of flo flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down in. Lie down in. For my people who have, who have sought me. For my people who have sought me. But ye are they who forsake the Lord. Who forget my holy mountain. Who prepare a table for that troop. And who furnish the drink offering unto the number. Unto that number. 
Therefore will I remember you to the sword, and ye shall bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that, that wherein I delighteth not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God hath shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he who sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. Because the former troubles are, for, are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice for forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her. Heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more hence. There shall be no, no more fence and infant of days. Nor an old man who hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years. But the sinner, being in a hundred years old, shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit thereof. They shall not. They shall not build, and another inhabit. They shall not plant, and another eateth. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth trouble nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed, feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain saith the Lord. Last chapter 66. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? Sounds like a song. Excuse me. And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made and all those things have, have been, saith the Lord. But to this man would I look even to him who is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. He who killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth the lamb as if, as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offer, he who offereth an, an oblation as if, he, as if he offered swine's blood. He who burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that which I delighted not, in which I delighted not. Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye who tremble at his word, your brethren who hateth you, that who casteth, out, casteth ye out for my name's sake saying that let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to you to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord who rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth for her before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who hath heard such who hath heard such who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. So I bring bring to the birth and not cause to bring to bring forth, say the Lord. And I cause to bring forth and shut the womb. Or shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, say the Lord. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her, ye who all ye who love her. 
Rejoice for joy with her, and ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out, that ye may milk out and be delivered with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort thee, or thou, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. When ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his in indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariot chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with the flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many they who sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eaten swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together saith the lord for I know their works and their thoughts which are come, that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and I will send those who who escape of thee, who escape of them unto the nations, to Tarsus, who Lud, who draw the bow to Tubal and Javan, or Javan, Javan, J A V A N, J A V A N, and to the isles of Far off. Who have not heard my name, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. They shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations, upon horses and in chariots, in litters, and in, upon mules, upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord. As the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord, I, I will also take of them. For priests and for Levites, say the Lord. For as the new heavens and new, new heavens and new earth, which I will make, shall remain before thee, say the Lord. So shall ye your seed, so shall thy seed and your name remain. It shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, say the Lord. They shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men. Who have transgressed against me for their for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an an abhorring unto all flesh. And that's the finale of the book of Isaiah, the last ten chapters. Hope you enjoyed it.